When did it become a goal for you to get on SNL? I mean, it was, you know, one of those things that was just like, whenever I, we started doing sketch comedy, especially at Nickelodeon, we were always like, yeah, we're like the, you know, the kids at SNL, it'd be great to get on there one day. We didn't never think it would be possible. Looking at the show now, the show looks a lot more like All That Did yeah. back in the day. Yeah, because Just in terms young. of, it's young and it's really diverse. Mm hmm yeah. It's young and very diverse. Even behind the scenes, like they hired a bunch of new writers and like, it's very mixed cultures. It's very cool. What do you it's think that's, cool. what do you think that's gonna do for the show? I mean, I, it can only be, you know, a positive thing. You know what I mean? It's gonna, you know, the people that loved the show before, it'll still be that same show. It just has like all these new, things to present to people that they might not be aware of or even know about. What was it like when you first started? That's gotta be real stressful. It's just a lot to take in, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Especially if you're a fan of it. It's like, oh wow, now I'm on this show. Like, is it still the same great show? You know what I mean? Like, have I tarnished it in any way? You know what I mean? Like, have you felt I changed that? it? For sure. Really? Yeah. I mean, you just, you have a hard time feeling worthy. Maybe because I was young coming into it and I didn't have a lot of like, improv theater type experience necessarily or stand-up experience. First time somebody wrote a sketch for me, I tanked the shit out of it. But, live? Yeah. I mean, live enough, it was a dress rehearsal. It was just like this random bellhop character. Okay. And then I had this one line that I flubbed like super hard. I didn't even get the line out. I flubbed it that hard. And it was so quiet. You could just hear this one lady like above in the in the balcony in the audience, like, oh. Yeah, because I mean, it's it's an environment where if you don't have material that somebody feels like can make the cut, yeah, you're just not on the show that week. For sure, that happened, you know, a few times. Really, where or you you'll just... have a couple things and they both get cut. You know what I mean? And then you you're left with nothing, basically, just waving good nights. <laughs> like, thanks for uh, coming out and. Enjoying everybody else. So. <laughs> <laughs> what did that feel like? Doesn't feel good. SNL is like one of those career launch pads, and then it's like, okay, well, if I'm not launching off the pad right, you know what I mean? Like, what am I doing? Sinking? That's not a great feeling. It's definitely like sink or swim, and you want to swim. Like, I know how to swim. I can swim on my back. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask you, what what's it gonna take for us to get a full length? What up with that? Just half hour. Oh, like its own yeah. show? Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. Nobody's <laughs> ever brought that up. Like some people are like, would you make that a movie or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Movie oh, works. Show works. What's it gonna take? I have somebody to spend the money on it. <laughs> <laughs> like whatever, like we'll write that up. That's easy. It'd be super fun. But yeah, it, you know, we have to bring the, all those elements back. Like we need Sudeikis, we need Fred, you know, we need mm -hmm. Bill Hader. You gotta have the whole crew back to do it. Yeah, those are like the elements that make it what it was. You've been on, is it season 15 for you? Yeah, 15. What, I mean, what keeps you, what keeps you here, man? Cause like I said, this, it's a grind and you're, you're like hustling all the time just to get stuff on, it sounds like. That sounds, it sounds stressful. Yeah, and I get that. And you know, a lot of that is what you put on yourself, in my opinion, because it's not mm -hmm. like you're the only one up there. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. lots of these, you know, hundreds of people up there. So you're never alone in it. Mm -hmm. And if you feel so isolated, so all alone in it, you're probably doing it wrong. And but yeah, every time I go there, there's people there working. I get up and go to work, regardless if it's, you know, stressful and it's a live show or not, you know? Mm -hmm. It's been the most amazing training because like at now everything else seems like a vacation. You come back for 16? I, I don't know, I'm down, like we'll see. You know, it's it's also nice to like give the new people their time, you know what I mean? So we got Chris on the show now and Leslie's been killing it. So I don't really see the point of like leaving steady employment just to go back to like pitching ideas and like waiting on the network and then waiting on the studio and then, mm -hmm. Oh, okay, they like the idea and they're thinking about making a pilot or it's better if you bring us a pilot or like all that kind of like hustle of the game that I've been doing like while I've been on the show anyway. It's no point of like rushing back to it because it'll always be there. Mm. Like Hollywood's never going anywhere, you know what I mean? There's always gonna be like a pitch to put together for Netflix or something, you know what I mean? Sure. Or we're looking for that next audition or you know, This Is Us is casting, you know what I mean? You wanna mm -hmm. go try out for that show? Like, the no guaranteed life, I'm not really excited to just jump back into like that. <laughs>